Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. The Sabres take possession to get this one underway. Knocked away. And that's broken up. Pasternak's taking it from his own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Picked up along the wall by Pasternak. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Quick pass to Skinner. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. They don't get it out, but they still have the puck. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Quick feed to Lindholm. Slides the puck to Saka. The Bruins take it along the wall. And that's off a stick. And he slides it quickly to Darlene. Oh, textbook quick check to turn that over. Moves it quickly over to DeBrusk. Coyle's got the puck. Into the corner, he takes the pass. Buffalo's got the puck. And he keeps possession. Takes the pass from the left wing. Buffalo's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Launches it from the point. Blocked in traffic. Buffalo's got a hold of it against the wall. Booming shot. And he gets in front of that rocket. Gains the zone from the right. The Bruins played along the boards. And he slides it quickly to DeBrusque. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck now. And he takes the dish. Here's a short pass to Clifton. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Taken by Lindholm. Moves it to Coyle. And now he tries to get it across to DeBrusque. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. But I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. The Sabres draw first blood here in period number one. Now, it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here, James, but they get up by one, and we've got to wonder if it now opens the game up. Kiki's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Chris is stick handling in his own zone. Slides it quickly to Clifton. And that goes off a stick. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Let's get the call. The Sabres are getting penalized for slashing. Yeah, guys, this power play is ranked top 10 in the league, and if they just get a couple good looks, they can truly capitalize on this. Let's see what happens in their first one of the game here. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a stop by Lukanen! Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Jost. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Zaka. The Bruins have it now. Boston's got the puck against the boards. And they got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Chris one. Oh, what a stick save. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. They score! the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Well past the midway mark of this period, we got a tie game. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Taken by Grislyk. Quick pass to Carlo. 
Picks up the puck in his own end. And he can't hang on after that hit. DeBrusque's carrying it ahead. Here's a feed in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Boston's playing it from the side. And that slides right out to center ice. Taken along the wall by Grislyk. Moves it on over to DeBrusque. The Sabres gain possession. Takes the feed in center from the right wing. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Devastating collision into the boards. The Bruins have it from the corner. Big stop right there. Frederick's on the attack in the offensive zone. Drives to the sweet spot. Scooped up along the wall by Olivier. Grizzlick's looking to make something happen here in the corner. The Bruins play it along the blue line. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Buffalo's got it in the wrong zone. And now he angles it across to Quinn. Goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. Omar's got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. Dow needs a great defender who can disrupt the opposition and even help his teammates generate chances from the back end. Let's see if what these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. McAvoy's known for great stick checking in his own end, guys. He's got that stick of up zone ability, and that's his puck checking skills that he uses to fend off an attack. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Denies him on the slapper. Grabbed along the board by McAvoy. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. They've got an odd man rush here. Denied on the play. Oh, wow. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. And they send it down the ice. Puck picked up by Darlene. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance to get it out. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. The Sabres have it against the wall. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Shot! Nice save from point blank range. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. McAvoy scut it across the line. And as he jumps out of the box, he can thank his penalty killers as they bail him out to keep this one tied. Well, a really nice job by this PK unit, James. Just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best killer. But finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. There you go. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Sabres are lucky that this game is tied, James. I mean, they've had the minority of the shots. They really haven't found a way to get to the interior of the ice. They're going to have to pay the price somewhere if they want to get some shots and make this game a game. Dubé has been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Puck grab by Lindholm. Quick feed to Pasternak. And that goes off the side of the frame. Lukanen's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. The Sabres gain possession in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Darlene. Chosses the puck loose. Takes the whack but still hangs on. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. And loses possession after a solid hit. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. 
And that slides right out to center ice. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Saka. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. Moves it to Marchand. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed face so fast and just taken down. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. You can... Feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Passes the puck over to Olsson. Inside the offensive end now down the left. The Bruins pick up steam and are on the attack. That's moved up ahead. Quick pass to Tuve. Puck exits the zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick feed to McAvoy. Takes the feed from his netminder. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Buffalo's got it from behind the net. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Saved by Olmark. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Moves it to Olofsson. Moves it to the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. And that shot dies in traffic. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Buffalo's got it from behind the net. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to White. The Bruins played along the wing. Picked up along the boards by White. Tries to the crease. Buffalo's got the puck. They've got numbers here. The Sabres will play it against the wall. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And he takes the pass. The Sabres carry it along the wall. And manages to clear the zone. Picked up along the wall by Van Riemsdyk. Sends it in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Past the halfway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Fredericks won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And that's broken up. Here's a short pass to Grizzly. I'm going to guess that he's going to look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. Boston's got the puck behind the net. Slick feed. Zaka's got it against the boards. And that pass goes off a stick. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. The Bruins win the faceoff. And now it's grabbed by Skinner. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And he was ready for that save. Skinner's got it in the offensive zone. Fires it off the post. Johnson's been effective getting to the right places at the right time, but it hits the post again, James. He cannot get discouraged. We're starting to see his frustration levels increase. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Pasternak. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Gets it over to Carlo. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Boston's on the attack. Centering pass in front. 
And he denies that great opportunity there. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Here he is, shot right in front. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. It has been a fantastic matchup here, back and forth at both ends of the ice. Let's see what happens in the third. Boston's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Lindholm. And now it's over to Pasternak. A centering feed. Picked off in front. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Battling for it along the boards. Quick feed to Thompson. Rocked on the play. Taken along the wall by Thompson. Poked away by Pasternak. Moves it quickly over to Thompson. Cuts to the front. That's blocked. Boston's got possession of the puck. And he sends it across to Saka. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. And that's just out of reach. And let's see what the call is. Skinner's been nabbed for tripping. They had success earlier in the overload set on the power play, James. I expect that they'll walk right back into it if they can win the faceoff. You know that you got to be heavy along the wall. You know you're set up on one side of the ice, but the key is the puck movement. You have to move it quick. You have to pull the coverage inside the dots, and then you have to look to work the magic, whether it's off the cycle or a quick give and go to take it to the net. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Quick shot! From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Joe's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Picked off by Lukanen. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Here's a short pass to Saka. Feeds the puck to Gagne. And he takes the feed. Puts it on net. Oh, and the goalie catches a break there. Moves it to DeBrusque. Slides the puck over. Parisi has been a critical player on this power play unit. He already has a power play goal, and he'll be looking for another. Still anyone's game as the power play comes up empty-handed. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world, and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net, be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Olofsson's crossed the line and gained the zone. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. DeBrusque slugging the puck. Poked away at center by Power. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a tie game. The Sabres take possession here inside the offensive zone. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical face-off. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels after an icing, you have to find a way to have urgency in attack. Passes over to Olofsson. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Here's a blast. Denies him with the save. Works it across to Johnson. With the blast! Denies him! He got all of it! They go on the attack through center. DeBrusque's got it along the wing. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop! Dubé's got it deep in the offensive end. Here's a pass down low. Quick pass to Frederick. Lukanen's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Who had the edge in Carlin Bates' mind? She's standing by with the answer. 
Davin's worked hard, and even though he hasn't been rewarded for his efforts, I've still liked his game, and I think he's had the edge in our matchup tonight. Starts the go-ahead goal, puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first two strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. Boston's taking a one-goal lead here in period number three. Oh, well, yeah, and it's a critical time here, James. They've got the go-ahead goal now, and some of the teams will say, play safe, not me. I'm about having the puck. Stay aggressive, stay on your toes, make them play on their heels. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. To his teammate! Fires it on net! Knocks the puck down with a stick. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Directed over to Skinner. Knocked away with the stick by Carlo. They've got numbers! Handles the pass in the corner. Sends it out front! And that's stopped! Takes the pass. The Sabres cross the blue line and are on the attack. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Pushes it across to Frederick. Quick feed to Olivier. Taken by Grislyk. People and fans complain that low-scoring games are boring, but not this one. There's been a lot of high-quality chances on both sides. It's been a very entertaining game. Moves it quickly over to Skinner. Buffalo's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, a clutch save! It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And that's intercepted by Darlene. Buffalo's moving it into the offensive end. Back at the point, he's set it up. opponent scooped up along the wall by Lindholm handles the puck across the line from center puck picked up by Marchand Campbell's on the puck check and it pays off Yuki Haru's moving the puck through his own zone grabbed along the board by Oposo long reach breaks up the momentum nearing the final 60 seconds in this one Played big in the moment there. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Picked up along the boards by McAvoy. There's another for the hit parade. Buffalo's got it along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Buffalo's got the puck against the wall. Hammers the shot. the buzzer 60 minutes of play has solved absolutely nothing so let's go to overtime and we'll do that next year on EA Sports and they are ready to drop the puck here in OT oh you can feel the tension in this arena sudden death overtime is underway Boston's ready to go on the attack pass on front oh he comes up with a stop the Bruins take it along the wall both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Thompson. Passes it in front. Takes a shot. Scores! Well, the backhander's gonna beat the 
goaltender on this one, James, but I, what I love about it is the effort to get to that area, that low slot area. You know you're going to have to pay the price. You're going to have to fight for position. He does all of it, and he gets rewarded. This has really become one of the real premier party destinations in the hockey landscape, and here's a reason why. Look at this celebration here, Cheryl. And you got to love this. I mean, the fans are there 